Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Herman. We're Steed. And you're watching Toastat. So what are the plans for, for the future plans? Um, you got two cool managers who can help yeah. out with that. But you know, you need to write the music. What's yeah. going what's going to happen? Well, uh, the writing process is uh, is uh, going on, of course, and there are new songs, and we uh, did record uh, um, a part of our new album already um, with another great guy, Guido Abbas. You might know him as well. And um, so we're writing songs at the moment, and uh, we try to uh, come out in England, and um, so. Yeah, we have, there's a lot of work waiting for us. Yeah. Uh, but um, the plan is to release in the, by the end of this year uh, an EP, uh, and maybe in the start of next year the the new album. Okay. Yeah. So uh, working on that. Good. Any yeah. festivals this year? No, well, no. not yet. Not yet. Uh, because, well, uh, we made a decision that we uh, we would focus on one thing at a time. So at at, at this moment we were focused on the UK. Uh, actually, we we already recorded four new songs that we wanted to. We were very anxious to release, but w we just they are on the shelves right now. They're just waiting to uh, to to get out. Um, but uh, at this moment, we uh, we uh, we made some connections in the UK as well, and hope that uh, we can uh, collaborate with uh, with some uh, some other bands. Uh, also focus on on other places as well. So there are some things going on. Maybe we will be going to play in Paris. Maybe we'll be playing in, in Greece as well in this summer. Uh, so but on the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, it's in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. but uh, also we, we are focusing on uh, on uh, on Holland as well. Hey, it's 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 our country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't forget them. Yeah. Um, but that will be with the new song. So first we'll we'll, we'll stick with this uh, this album to release it and um, see what happens. And after that we will we'll have uh, some more songs uh, songs coming up. Good, good. Feels like you really now has have established a, a band together that you're really working on new songs, Definitely. and and from now on, step two is coming yes. up yeah. basically. Uh, you know, with, with this is a really good first step, and then the next step will be right. that one. With a great song and a great great single behind you, I think it's hopefully it will happen after that. This is really what we li like to do, yeah. and uh, make music and and, and uh, come out with that, bring it out, and, and uh, entertain people. Uh, that's what we like. So, um, every guy or maybe every every girl just wants to be in a band. I think you want to be in a band as well, you, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Come on. Well, maybe. We need <laughs> another maybe. bass player. <laughs> yeah, I only play the drums, so <laughs> can't help you with that. No, no, that's not true. Aris, we love you. Last weekend, let's talk about that. So you were still hot and excited about it, I can tell. How was that? Tell us about it. We stepped into our uh, band bus and uh, we drove through Calais and we took the Euro tunnel to Folkestone and we drove all the way, all the to, way Liverpool. to Liverpool and the next day um, we had a slot on 12.30 and um, so that was exciting and after that we did a lot of interviews, BBC, Radio, Merseyside, um, Liverpool TV and um, it was like a roller coaster. Actually. Yeah, it, it was ah, really good. great. Yeah, yeah. it was uh, as if uh, everything uh, just fell fell on the right uh, place. We've been to England before. Yeah. We've been to uh, Liverpool twice and played in the Cavern Club, which was uh, we were really honored to to be playing there. Wow. And uh, coming after, back to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, we went to uh, to Glasgow uh, uh, as well and, and played uh, at at a nice venue. But we really wanted to play at the uh, Liverpool Sound City. We saw the, the the festival and well, we yeah, were two anxious. Years ago, yeah. Two we years ago, to, yeah. Um, we stepped inside um, the office and tried to get a slot yeah. up there, but we had to wait. Yeah. A year, this year actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay, so it was already filled, probably then. So what's what's this festival all about? It's a it's a kind of a showcase festival. Um, in in Holland, we uh, do have uh, you probably know it, Noordenslag Eurosonic, and um, you can actually quite compare it with that one okay. and uh, there are a lot of new upcoming bands who do showcase their new music and um, well, it's maybe the next British um, invasion generation yeah. 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 yeah so have you seen any uh, bands that we you thought like wow these guys yeah, are really yeah, cool yeah most definitely yeah we, we saw uh, there were uh, the especially two bands that we saw uh, they, they come from Wales Houdini Sachs and uh, Cold Committee 
uh, we we met their managers as well, and they were the funny thing was they were interested in us as well. So uh, managing you guys in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not exactly managing, uh, but maybe okay. some kind of a collaboration, yeah. and because uh, yeah. we have our uh, own management, of course. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. we might uh, we might work together with that band, and uh, well, that band is uh, at the moment it's massive in uh, in Wales. But also actually in in India as well. So there are some exciting times coming up. So first album five years ago, um, a curious case of countless clues. Yeah. <laughs> Tongue twister there. Um, what's the main difference between that album and this one? Well, we were we've developed as a band um, the two new members in the band at this moment, Misha and uh, Aris, and so the sounds changed, and uh, I think. I can speak for us all now. We're quite happy in this formation at the moment. So um, it's, and I, 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 I guess you can hear that on the, on the album. It's there's a positive vibe yeah, definitely. Yeah. and yeah. music. You can and say that we are in, in the first album. Uh, we were uh, well pretty uh, inexperienced about how to record an album. So we just, well, we just tried something and uh, we're engaged with uh, uh, people who uh, who helped us with recording that song, uh, that album. Uh, but after that, we we had some some specific ideas about uh, how our sound should be and how it should be recorded. So we went to another person, a uh, pretty famous guy in in Holland, uh, who uh, helped us with recording this this album. And uh, well, it, it's it's much more um, rock and roll than than, than the previous one. That's you the should album. buy this. One. Frans Hagenaar. Frans Hagenaar. Yeah, yes. Hello. Great guy. You know, yeah, Excelsior yeah. Records. All right, guys, keep us up to date, and thank you very much. All right. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for the interview, man. Great.